Hello, I am Stacia Briggs, the Chamber's Member Services Coordinator. Today, I am going to walk you through the member portal and show you all the benefits that come with it. The member portal is your own profile that allows you to keep your company profile updated, register for events, pay invoices, and much more. Visit the Chamber's website and click on the Member Login button on the homepage to access Members Only area. Log in and update your profile from there. To log in for the first time, you will need to enter the email used when you joined the Chamber and the password that you received in my first email to you or given to you by your ambassador with your new member packet. Once you log in, you will be able to reset your password to anything you want. If you happen to forget your login information, you can reach me at sbriggs at chamberbloomington.org and I can reset that for you. This is what it will look like when you log in. On the homepage, you can see your business information, the employee profiles related to you, any events that you have signed up for, and even open invoices. There is also a navigation bar here at the top. I will go over these in one moment. Your personal profile is different than your company profile. In order to keep your company's information up to date, you will need to switch profiles here at the top. Once you have switched over, you can make edits to the company's page. If you would like others to have access to editing this page, I will show you in just a moment how to provide access. To make edits to both your personal and company profile, Click the Edit This Profile button. We will start with your personal profile. From here, you can edit your general information, add in extra addresses, phone numbers, and emails, along with adding your social media handles and update your preferences. If your business belongs to one or more of these demographic groups, your business will be highlighted and searchable in our online directory. In order to edit your company's profile, make sure to switch profiles. Once you do that, you will have all the same information available to edit. But now a new section called directory listing will show up. This is where you can add in all your keywords, short and long descriptions, and list products and services. This will also show up on the business directory listing on the Chamber's website. Make sure you save your profile before you exit. The next tab on the navigation bar is pay open invoices, whether that be member dues, sponsorship invoices, or even a ticket for an event, this will show up here. To pay an invoice, just click on the one you want to pay and select pay now. You will be able to enter in all of your credit card information to submit. The next tab on the navigation bar is relationships. This is where you can edit your staff's contact information. You can make changes to an individual profile by clicking the actions and edit buttons. Make sure to check off who you want as the main contact in the billing contact. You can also provide access to employees on editing the profile and receiving chamber communications. Anyone with the editor button clicked will have access to the company's profile, invoices, etc., as well as their personal profile. The last tab is more resources. In this tab, you can manage coupons, submit events, see your chamber referral report, post on the job board, see the chamber's business directory, and see your member materials. If you would like to offer chamber members a special discount or coupon, you can add it in this tab. If you are hosting an event and would like it to be on the chamber's community calendar, you can submit it here. You can also view how many referrals your company received because of the Chamber's website. If you have an open position, you can post it on the Chamber's job board up to 90 days for free. Thank you for watching this video on the member portal. As always, please reach out with any questions. Thanks. I look forward to meeting you soon.